Okay, this question um, is um, for Lydia. Um, hi Lydia, uh, I know you're a Filipina and thank you so much for watching my videos without any prejudice. I know that some, because some of the Filipinas got very offended with what I'm talking about. But I'm very, very fortunate about you being open-minded about it. Thank you. So my next topic is about... Uh, you ask me um, why the rents are cheap but the lands are expensive. I think it's because of the cost of living, but, and another thing is when we have a land in the Philippines, we don't really pay that much rent, right? So, and the person that you are buying it from, I think because of your last name, and they know that you have a foreign man, it's, that also does a big factor when it comes to buying lands, you know, you know it yourself, they think that Filipina women who are married to foreigners are rich so sometimes prices goes higher that's why I remember back um, when I was teaching in the Philippines my students when they need something they want something they would ask me to buy it and then they would pay me because I can haggle the prices and then the prices are really different when my student asks how much the actually it's just a fake Nike slipper and then they told him it was 300 but when I asked it was only 150 pesos I was even to able to haggle until 120 pesos so for those who got cheated by my fellow men when it comes to prices I'm very sorry about that I'm very sorry about the mindset that they have that foreigners are richer or yeah maybe because of your salary or cost of living something like that or maybe because they think they can get away with it um, it's much better if you're trying to buy something from the Philippines that you can ask a Filipina to buy it for you or your girlfriend to haggle the prices for you instead of you yourself. So for Lydia, I think that's the reason. If you really want to buy like cheap lands in the Philippines, it's much better for you to go to banks like BDO uh, Land, what's that? Um, land Bank or Rural Banks. Uh, there are a lot of, you know, um, lands that were collateral before but they were not the owners were not able to pay for the loan that they had in the bank so the prices are very I'm not saying cheap but they are actually affordable and it's much better because the titles are clean and maybe you can even talk to them to you if you want to pay installments something like that so that's my advice it's much better if you go to the bank like that um, of course, real estates are also good, but with your last name, somehow it's going to be a bit difficult, but still better to go at the bank. It's my advice. If I have a lot of money, I'm really, 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 really going to go for that. So um, I'm going to buy a land from the bank. That's me. And yeah, um, for the rents, it's just the cost of living, something like that. And that's why I think you as a Filipina, I guess you understand, that's why many Filipinos are still staying with their families even after they get married or have a job. It's because the rent fee is really expensive. That's really sad. Or when it comes to if you're going to calculate it with the salary of Filipinas or Filipinos, rent is really expensive. Anyway, you asked me, um, do Filipinos like yeah uh, where can you find qualified people for opportunities like a call center like that um is it much better yeah the rotation like the six months six months should they hire a contractor or self-employment blah 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 well if i were you uh there are many qualified filipinos um who wanted to work uh you can do your own and then just talk to Department of Employment, Labor and Employment to ask for the guidelines. Or you can hire an agency to do it for you. Usually these agency, or you know what, um, this is my personal idea, but I would like to share it to you since you are the one who is capable right now of doing this good opportunity for Filipinas or Filipinos. Please go to public schools to find your employees. Um, why? You can just go to Department of Labor and Employment to know the rules. Actually, the rules are not very difficult. I'll be explaining some later on. But if you really want to find qualified people and 
give opportunities aside from you know type you know uh, making an advertisement online and or hiring a contractor or you can go to you know like um, Tesda Tesda is uh, like a short course for making people for Filipinos to you know study English blah 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 or you can go to public schools um, I I studied for six months in a public school in a college um, I've seen a lot of very very competent and relatively smart some of them are still are already working at the call center but they are still studying so these people are very you cannot you know you would see how hard they work to go to those schools actually it's very cheap like one subject is only 600 pesos but still um, I would advise you to go to these public schools and offer the job offers there not only you can help the community but you can also give jobs to these public school students who are usually neglected by the big companies because of the school from you know their school background so just do the interview which is good for you something like that that is my personal advice you can like hire a manager that is already qualified like through online especially in Angeles area there are a lot of you know qualified call center agents so those are really helpful actually and then you can ask them to hire to help you hire at public schools or if you want you can hire a contractor who would do it for you since they know the rules and regulations something like that but sometimes yeah just do the final interview yourself so you will know if they are qualified or not what can I say about the rotation like the six months six months um Lydia I think you are very familiar why they did this as a Filipina you should know that the rotation after Cory Aquino the six months six months was made to avoid giving benefits to other Filipinos like after six months probation if you cannot even if the person is really good at their job but the company just wants to avoid giving benefits that's why they kick them out so that person doesn't have a job again so um people who does the rotation like six months job and then done actually six months probation and then you can get it's up to the company if they will you know um give them the job full time or if they pass the probation if but usually some Chinese companies in the Philippines just give only six months job for the Filipinos so because they want to avoid paying the the tax and the benefits so yeah um, it's much if you want to hire a contractor they can explain these things for you better um, what do Filipinos think about self-employment um, before I think it's scary for them but nowadays as you can see many Filipinos are trying to earn part-time online like that they are very open about it although some are falling for you know like multi level scams which is very sad so I think <sighs> avoid that a little bit okay um, but most Filipinos are open about it and maybe they are new for it but most of them are open it's earning it's money so I'm sure they would accept that so self-employment might be new for some but for some it's already yeah many are very open about it so just go for it and then um, what can you know how can you make Filipinos go or make their performance much better as I guess you know the answer for this one as a Filipina um, how can they give more for their jobs well aside from having a good management actually me I have uh, money is very important for me <laughs> I mean salary uh, because maybe sometimes you know your value right but uh, aside from the incentives and incentives really drive drive a lot of Filipinos to go to you know do their best um, 
a lot like especially the call centers uh, they know they use incentives right if you're not late you get 1,800 pesos in your for incentive for a month so if you get this quota you will get like I, I heard one call center used to give a sack of rice I mean it's rice I mean um, some people might laugh it's rice but Filipinos one sack of rice is a big thing so incentives can really really you know push Filipinos to do their best but aside from that as a person who work from different companies um, it's not only the money but also the fulfillment and the management I used to work before at a hotel the salary is not that big um, I have good tips but because the management and the people around me are really good uh, I stayed there and it was the best time of my life but of course I have to go out of my comfort zone to challenge myself like that I don't know if they're proud of me though I don't even know if they can see me I'm shy <laughs> anyway um, yeah um, first if you are a good don't be too good okay but at the same just draw a line but be kind to our fellow men when it comes to work be considerate but at the same time um, have limits with your consideration because they might abuse your kindness and also incentives can drive Filipinos to work harder uh, that is my personal opinion because I work for a company which pays well but the management wasn't good after three days I left and some of my co-workers also left so but I stayed with a company like a year and a half with the hotel. They didn't pay that much, but because of the management, I stayed long. It's just my personal growth, selfishness. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, if you can put those things together, I'm pretty sure your company would work. If I'm in the Philippines, I would really work for you. And thank you so much for wishing me well. I also wish you guys well, and I hope somehow I helped. Um, if there are any other questions about jobs like that or information about Philippines like that or laws, um, don't hesitate to ask me. But it's I always recommend people when it comes to these things to check the official website of the government when they need to verify things before you can ask other people. It's much better to know things from the, you know, from the source and then from other people and then so on and so forth i hope that helped and thank you so much again for everyone supporting my channel for the 1000 subscribers just buy my books i'm gonna be more happy just kidding <laughs> if that happens if all my viewers would buy my books i'm gonna quit my job <laughs> kidding and thank you so much for yeah liking subscribing continuous questions i'm very 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 flattered and happy personally um to be honest yeah maybe i'm gonna be changing my job so it's similar as this one but i'll be working i hope i'll be working for the government team <laughs> but thank you thank you thank you thank you so much i really appreciate it um let's always help one another uh for the information regarding philippines again i don't uh i don't allow yeah being disrespectful in my channel but and also there are some things that i cannot discuss because i don't know them but i'm usually honest about that but regardless once again congratulations not only to me but to all of us for making this 1000 subscribers i'm so happy so thank you thank you thank you um anyway have a nice weekend i'll see you again next week and thank you thank you thank you thank you so much